Hi, and welcome to, and now we're cooking in Carol's Kitchen. Today I'm going to cook one of my family's favorite stuffed bell peppers. I um, was at my son's house last week helping him with a newborn baby, and I wanted to do my Italian stuffed bell peppers, but he didn't have all the ingredients. So what he did have was Mex Mexican spices and chorizo and sausage and different things that just really made me think in that I'm going to make that into my cooking show and actually do it keto friendly. So instead of using rice, I am using a combination of cauliflower rice that has corn and peas in it, which is not really keto friendly, but it's such a small amount and I didn't want to have to be digging all that out of it. So what I have going here is a pound of ground round or beef of your choice, a pound of shrimp, um, chorizo. I've got my different spices you could use. This is a tomato sauce. This is Jagoria um, Verde sauce. Then I'm going to use some salsa. And then I've got a few packs of this Sejan, which is a Spanish spice. It gives your rice a yellow color to it, but it's also very flavorful. Um, I actually have it also in the container like this, where so you, you can just measure it into your, your skillet. So what I'm going to do is show you, on my way home from Lake, and I stopped at this farmer's market, and they had the, be the best and the biggest peppers I've ever seen. And because the red peppers were much bigger at the same price as the yellow ones, I decided to go ahead and just buy as many of the red ones that I could. Usually I do like a rainbow color, red, orange, and yellow, and green. But tonight, I'm just doing the red and then one yellow. So I went ahead and got the, the top cut off and clean. And then I put what I cut off, I cut some of that up also so that I add that into my meat as I'm cooking it. And then I have one medium sized onion. So. I'm going to add, as the meat cooks, I'm going to add, I like doing my own combination of salt, pepper, and garlic. It's all the same measurement. One cup of salt, one cup of pepper, and one cup of garlic powder. And then you just pour into your containers and you always have it ready. So I'm going to get started with putting the meat into the frying pan. I've got the water boiling over here. So as I cook the meat, I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these they only take about five, three to five minutes. Keep an eye on it. I don't like mine fully cooked because it's gonna cook in the oven at 400 degrees. So it's gonna continue cooking. I don't want it to get so soft that it falls apart when I'm stuffing it. So I am gonna put it in some salty boiling water. For about three to five minutes, like I said. I'm going to turn my burner on medium. I'm going to go ahead and cook up the meat. Now I have the chorizo cooked with the ground beef with one onion and one pack of cauliflower rice. And then I did add two packs of the Sejan Mexican spices to it. I was going to add four, but um, I think two is just really sufficient. I added probably a quarter cup to my meat mixture, the guy, the um, Gaia of um, some spices, or Goya. And then I added just a, a quarter cup of salsa. And then I added about two tablespoons of salt, pepper, and garlic. And I could let it cook until everything is nice and tender and the meat's brown. And then I drained it. You don't want the extra grease that's, that's it's from the meat saturate your peppers because it means a little too messy and a little too much oil. So now that this is cooked, I'm using a cake pan. Normally I will use a bunk cake pan and I could usually get about four to six in here. It depends on the size of the peppers. If you don't have this type of bunk cake pan, certainly angel food cake pan will work just as fine. 
Up. I got my peppers cooling so I can handle them. I turn them upside down so they could drain a bit more. So I'm going to add now, this is the fun part because if you like your cheese, you add as much as you want. So I do like mine cheesy, so I'm gonna probably put about a cup and a half. And then don't forget, you will top it off before you put the oven, you can put some more cheese on top of it along with your sauce. And the way I made my topping here is just two simple ingredients. Store-bought salsa, and a small can of tomato sauce. You don't need to add any spices or anything else to it because your meat has all that in it. And I don't want to have so much spices in the sauce that's going to take away from the flavor of the meat. So I'm going to stir this up really good. And it's okay if you make it a little mess because, you know, no mess, no, fat, no fuss. Okay. Now I'm going to probably put a little bit more cheese in it. I'm so glad I'd be back home, but I really do miss my grandbabies. My one son, Richard, has a little son named David, he adopted 10 months ago, um, newborn, and to their surprise, God blessed them with another baby. Um, she was able to carry nine months, off full term, nice healthy little girl. Her name is Abby. So they have two kids now, two babies, Abby and David. And one thing about Lakeland's a lot of farmland, and you get fresh eggs there also. Okay, now, I'm going to set the peppers. It's a good thing I'm only cooking four because I don't think I can get more, much more in this pig pan. I'm already making a mess, but that's okay. Then I had the pleasure of staying also with my younger son, uh, Bobby, and his wife Emily. They had a baby a month ago, Tuesday. I had stayed there for two weeks. A precious little boy named after my father, Carson. My father would be so honored and proud knowing that his name, which is, which is very rare, you would never hear Carson out anywhere else because my grandmother actually came up with that name. The rumor has it that she came up with the name because when um, my dad was born, they thought they were having a daughter, and they couldn't think of a name at the last minute. And, um, and when dad found out, when Papa found out it was a um, boy, he goes, well, I guess I'm even gonna need to sell that truck and sell that car. And so grandma was thinking, car sell. They sold it, they kind of sell the car. And, um, but I don't know if that's true or not. But he is precious. I miss him so much. And I feel like my family is definitely complete. I've got four precious grandchildren. And I say four now because Emily has um, Kayla, who is 12 years old. Okay. Now, you see, this is. Finished. I made a mess, and now I'm going to top it off with um, some sauce. It's going to go in preheated oven at 400 for about 30 minutes. Mind you, it won't take too long because the meat's already cooked, the pepper's already cooked, and all we're going to do is just heat everything up so it gets nice and hot and cheese melts. And then, when it's finished, you can, you can top off with some sour cream. So now, I'm going to put this in my oven. And I can't wait because I'm so hungry. I'm definitely going to eat this and let you guys know how it tastes. So, i see you in a few minutes. Now it just came out of the oven and I'm dying to try this. It is going to be amazing. The aroma in the kitchen is just 
makes you, I want to dive into it. Um, I did mention, I didn't mention this. I didn't have any fresh Toronto in my garden, so I do have this as a backup. I put about a tablespoon of this in my meat. So I, I did forget to tell you guys. So if you like Toronto, this is really good in it. So I'm going to cut this open. And if you want some extra sauce on it, this is the Gloria sauce and tomato sauce with a little bit of salsa mixed together. And this is so, already so juicy. I don't think I'm gonna need any in it. And cheesy, look at this. Mm. Mm, this is really amazing. The chorizo sausage cooking with the ground beef adds so much flavor to it. And who would have known? that um, something like this could be so good and so easy to make too. You didn't take like, no time to make. Man, that's healthy for you. Very low in carbs. I don't use any rice. I use cauliflower rice instead. Mm. Look at this cheese, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode of my stuffed bell peppers. It's so good, I can't stop eating it. So you have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Bye.